Frank Atwood's car has been sitting in evidence for decades, and as Nine on Your Side's Donnell Confair reports, it could soon become scrap metal. This is what Frank Atwood's car looked like back in 1987. Now fast forward to several decades later, the car still stands in evidence waiting to be demolished. So basically on all the, the vehicles that we seize, we have the associated case number that this vehicle was associated with or involved with. Um, just so because this one, for example, is 1984. The vehicle, a 280Z Datsun, missing its front bumper, which sits in court evidence. Pima County Chief Deputy Richard Castigar says it's that bumper that helped them solve the case. She uh, was hit by Jarvis's vehicle and the evidence on his car that paint transfer, it's called, that came from her bicycle is is conclusive. Uh, evidence and scientific evidence down to the elemental uh, aspects of that paint from her bike and that paint from his car. Here in the evidence lot, the car has been left rusting away until law enforcement is able to dispose of it. So once he, he is executed, um, we would still have to go through the same procedures, getting a court order uh, because 99 years hasn't come up yet. We still have to go through the same procedures, getting the court order to have it disposed of at that point. He says his department plans on putting in the court order sometime after Atwood's execution. As for the bike, it will be returned to the family for them to determine to either keep it or get it demolished. Did Confair, Kaga 9 on your side.